What's up guys, Johnny here with Team Legit. Today I've got a new exciting product for you guys. Uh, as you guys see, this is the Laser Brushless Gimbal 1.3 GHz video receiver. Uh, it picks up channel 1280, 1320, and 1360. You can find these on the Team Legit uh, website. I'll put the links below. We also sell the matching transmitters that go with these as well. Uh, that's the higher channels. But today we're not going to talk about the 1.3 GHz. We're going to talk about the new Laser 2.4 GHz uh, Dominator Module. Now this is a very good and uh, new innovation in the FPV for the swappable module type goggles. Um, you might be asking yourself, well, why would I want to run 2.4 when they have the 1.3 or the 5.8? Well, as you guys know, FPV is a growing hobby and it's just getting bigger and bigger. So that means more channels are becoming used. And when you try to fly FPV, uh, it's sometimes hard to find a channel that you can fly with with your friends. So uh, recently I've been doing a lot of testing on the 2.4 GHz module and i got to say I really like it. So far I've been able to test it out with the uh, brand new Immersion RC 700 milliwatt 2.4 GHz video transmitter and uh, paired with some long range antennas we were able to get 2.5 miles at about 60 feet off the deck. It was on a quadcopter with return to home so we just kept pushing the limit and pushing the limit we're able to hit about two and a half miles so that's very impressive um, I did start to try these out with the uh, circular polarized antennas however I wasn't getting good results and it could have been because of a, a few different factors one there's a lot of guys flying 2.4 around me and that could have reduced my range also uh, I believe that the antennas that I had were also prototypes so um, I'm gonna go ahead and give them another shot and I'll tell you guys my results uh, uh, soon in the in the comments below or I'll leave them in the description as to what kind of range we're getting um, real quick, let me show you guys uh, how the module works. If you have yourself the uh, Dominator goggles, in my case I've got the version 2s, um, I did verify they do work with the version 2s, they also work with the HDs, as well as the current Dominator modules, uh, Dominator goggles that are out, the uh, black ones. So simply just pop out your module, and you just pop in whichever frequency you're planning to fly. In my case, I'm going to be using the 2.4 right now, and you just pop in your little door for your goggles and uh, you've got video there. Now one really good thing about these goggles is when you plug them in you can see the little green LED come on. Uh, I mean that's not going to be very helpful to you because the door is covered but when you do power them on and you uh, turn it on you'll see a little green LED that tells you uh, that the power is on. A little bit different with the uh, 1.3 gigahertz module when you select channels it, the LED comes on for the channel that you have uh, selected but not for the 2.4 you just get it on off but again uh, those are uh, not important because you're not going to be able to see them anyway with the door on. So, um, real quick, I was able to test them out with the Lawmate 2.4 gigahertz uh, transmitter. This is the Lawmate 1000 milliwatt. So I would say the one watt Lawmate one watt works. So does the Immersion RC bands. And uh, I'll show you guys a little bit of footage of what they look like through the DVR. Now on this particular setup. I don't have the best camera, however the image quality was really good. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and power this on, and I'll power on my goggles. Uh, I'm seeing a little bit of flutter, and that's probably because of the 2.4 gigahertz, uh, I'm sorry, that's probably because of the lighting in here. So let me go ahead and get the uh, Dominator modules, the Dominator goggles on. One really cool thing about the Dominator goggles, they've got a built-in DVR. When I hit this little button right here, you'll see the LED start flashing. So now, as you can see, um, you can actually see the recording that the live video is putting out. And like I said, this camera is not the best, and because of the fluorescent lighting in here, it's pulsating. All right, I also did go ahead and test out that it works with the Immersion RC 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, video transmitter. This is the 500 milliwatt version. This version has been discontinued. There's a newer one out there and I'll put that in the links below. But uh, it does work with this and I've tested out all four channels and it worked great on all four of the channels. Um, on this legit wing ultra I've got the Pixum Seawolf. I believe this is the same as the TBS 69 camera. Really good camera and at first I was blaming the camera when I had the older 2.4 gigahertz RX uh, and I said hey something's got to be wrong but as you can see I'll uh, go ahead and overlay some of the DVR footage uh, from this camera. I mean you're not going to get a very good sight but you're basically seeing really nice colors, really nice sharp images uh, with the 2.4 gigahertz um, video transmitter with paired with this uh, Pixum C Wolf camera. In this particular test, you're not seeing any uh, real 
uh, beautiful scenery. It's just, you know, views in the garage and whatnot, but there's definitely a bunch of colors you can check out, and you can see how well the 2.4 gigahertz with the Pixum Seawolf camera works with the uh, Laser 2.4 gigahertz module. So you may be asking yourself, uh, why doesn't everybody run 2.4, or what are the advantages, disadvantages? Well, for one, antenna size. As you can see, this is a 1.3 gigahertz pepper box versus a 2.4 gigahertz pepper box. This is a lot more manageable and can fit in the back of a ground station a little bit easier versus this big hunk of a thing. Uh, also, when it comes to the CP antennas, as you can see, this one's you know size of a grapefruit, and then you got this one a little bit smaller, uh, actually quite a bit smaller. So again, the antenna is a little bit more manageable. Uh, another pro would be uh, you can fly with friends that are flying on the 1.3 or the 5.8 gigahertz channel if it's too uh, uh, jammed up. So long as everybody's using 433 or, uh, or 72 megahertz UHF either UHF or 72 megahertz. Um, when you get into 2.4 gigahertz and you have 2.4 gigahertz control, you're going to get a shoddy image. Uh, we did test that out this uh, past weekend where uh, there was a couple guys flying 2.4 and I was trying to use the 2.4 video. It was stomping on my video and I wasn't getting very good range. Uh, however, when we did pair it with the 433 Dragon Link and the 2.4, uh, excellent results. We were getting no video glitches, no issues, no interference. So uh, 2.4 is uh, a good frequency to use when you get into flying with multiple people. Um, and also the antenna management is a lot easier. So uh, there's a couple of pros and cons. I'll continue doing testing and uh, put my results in the comments below. But overall, I'm very happy with this. And it keeps me um, very nice, compact, and easily switchable to use different frequencies. So uh, big props for the laser uh, guys over there coming up with all kinds of really cool ideas. Um, stay tuned. I'm going to be uh, doing a review of a um, accessory that will pair up with these two modules so you can connect it directly to your computer. So if you wanted to use your computer as a monitor or a recording device, you could. Uh, we'll have that video coming up uh, soon as well. Um, so uh, to get the 1.3 gigahertz module and soon the 2.4 gigahertz module, you can log on in the U.S. as a distributor, uh, www.team-legit.com. I'll put that in the description below. If you guys have any questions, uh, make sure you guys put that in the comments below. And uh, if this video helped you out, make sure you click the like button. And always to stay up to date, don't forget to click subscribe. I'm Johnny. Thanks for watching. Um, 1.3, size of uh, a melon or, you know, an orange or whatnot. And you got 2.4, a um, lot smaller, maybe the size of a guava, depending on if you know what fruits you like. <laughs> Sorry, I have to redo that part. <laughs> What's the size of a guava?